Hello guys and welcome back to the fifth part of the MVVM shopping list tutorial. In this part we are going to create the XML layout for our shopping activity and after that we will create our shopping add shopping dialog to insert items into our recycler view. So we start by going under our rest folder layout activity shopping and then I want to replace the text view with a recycler view. We can delete the text property and the layout width will be matched parent and the layout height will also be matched parent. I'll give it an ID RV shopping items and that's basically it for the recycler view. I want to add some padding to our constraint layout. So we go up here and type oops, padding and I give it 16 dp padding. And we, are, we want to insert a floating action button to add the items later on to show the dialog basically. So we go here and type floating action button. That is wrap content and wrap content. We are going to have to add an icon for that. So we go under our drawable folders and right click new image asset. I'm going to call it IC add. And we search for add. And this is the icon I want to use. So we press on OK. Next and finish. Then we can say source is equal to IC add. And that's it for the floating action button. We go under our design tab and make sure to constrain the floating action button to the left and to the bottom. I forgot to give it an ID. So we add that really quick and I'll call it fab. So next we want to create the XML layout for our add shopping item dialog. To do that we go on our layout, layout resource file, make sure it is a constraint layout as a root element and I'm going to call it dialog um, add shopping item. Press enter. And first of all we want to drag in all of our views that we need. So we are going to need a view for a text view for the title. We need a plain text for the name and a plain text for the amount and two other um, text views for canceling the dialog and one for adding it. So next we want to create the XML layout for our shopping dialog. So I'll call it dialog add shopping item. Make sure it has a constraint layout as a root element and press OK. And first of all we want to drag in all of our views that we are going to need. We are going to need a text view for the dialog title. We are going to need two plain texts, one for entering the um, shopping item name and one for entering the amount. And two text views for one for cancelling the dialog and one for adding the item. Then I want to change the IDs of our views. First of all this is the TV title, ET name, ET amount, this is TV cancel and finally we have the TV add here. So now we go, on, uh, we go back to our design tab and we want to constrain all the views. So the TV title we want to constrain in the center top. So we drag that top constraint to the top and the left to the left and the right to the right. We want to constrain the ET name to the left, the ET amount to the right and the ET name to the left of the ET amount 
we can constrain their job constraints to the title const uh, title bottom and this one too and the tv cancel i'm going to constrain to the top two to the bottom of <laughs> et amount and this one also to the bottom of et amount also i want to constrain that tv add to the right and the tv cancel to the left of tv add then i'm going to click on that et name and make sure the width is 0 dp so it matches the constraint and et now amount um, they want to have the width to 100 dp that looks better now then i'm going to um, change the padding of our constraint layout so we type in padding and i'm going to set it to 16 dp we go back to our design tab click on et name and we can add a little bit top margin here like 16 dp do the same for the et amount and we can select those two text views oh let's do it for each of those also 16 dp margin and that one two and tv cancel i will add 16 dp margin to the right so that looks a little bit better now and make sure to make the width of the whole dialog to 300 dp and also the the height to wrap content so it doesn't fit um, our whole screen then i'm going to set the title to add a new shopping item and we can set the text size to let's say 24 sp make sure to change that text property of our et name to hint and the input type to just text change the input type of our et amount to oh, we all already have it there to number and also replace the text property with hint and name it amount and i don't know why that layout width is 62 dp here let's set it back to rep content and also the layout height to rep content and the text will be cancel um, and the tv add text will be add i'm going to increase the text size a little bit so let's say text size is 18 sp whoops and do the same for the tv cancel text size is equal to 18 sp and i just noticed that our title TV, uh, text view needs two lines so let's decrease the text size a little bit let's say 20 sp and now it fits into one line so that layout looks fine now we have to create a class for our custom dialog to do that we go on our java or package and ui.shopping list right click new kotlin file or class make sure you select class here and i'll name it add shopping item dialog after that press enter and it will take a context in the constructor and will inherit from app compet dialog which also takes that context so inside of that class we somehow need to tell our shopping activity the result of that dialog so when we create a new shopping item here we need to send that item to our shopping activity and because this is not an activity class we cannot just call the set result method and also call the start activity for result method um, that won't work here because this is a dialog class so we have to think of another way to do that and I thought we can do that with a separate interface. So we go under our shopping list package here and create a new interface. And I'll call it add dialog listener. 
and inside of that interface we define one single method that is on add button clicked which takes an item a shopping item so whenever we call that method inside of our dialog class we will pass the item which we just created in the dialog and then we can get that item in our shopping activity class so now we go back to our add shopping item dialog class and inside of that we are going to override our own create function and inside of that we want to add an on click listener to our tv add dot set on click listener i'm going to save the name in, an, in a string variable so let's write well name is equal to et name dot text dot to string and do the same with the amount well amount is equal to et amount dot text dot to string and then we can check if name dot is empty so if the user didn't enter any information then we want to show a toast and return from that method or amount dot is empty toast.make text we pass in our context please enter all the information and we're going to choose the length short here and call dot show after that we want to return from the on click listener so we write return at set on click listener so now we have to pass our just created add dialog listener to our constructor so we can call the on add button click method there so write var add dialog listener which is an add dialog listener and then we can write we can create our item right here well item is equal to shopping item and pass in the name and the amount dot to int because that's an integer and we're going to call add dialog listener dot on add button clicked and pass in our item so that method will notify our shopping activity and give it the item which we just created here and finally we call dismiss and we can do the same with the tv cancel button so we write tv cancel dot set on click listener and inside of that we simply want to cancel the dialog so that's it for our add shopping item dialog class now we can go back to our shopping activity and here we're going to implement the recycler view now so first we want to create an adapter which is equal to shopping item adapter first we can just insert an empty list here we will update that later and pass in our view model then we're going to call rv shopping items dot layout manager is equal to linear layout manager and pass this and rv shopping items dot adapter is equal to our just created adapter so now we want to display all the items in our database in our recycler view to do that we write view model dot get all shopping items dot observe then it, this method takes an owner which is just the t and the second parameter will be an observer and so what this basically does is in our shopping DAO we define that method get all shopping items which returns a live data a live data of a list of shopping items so that live data has that observe method and that basically means that whenever our database changes and we um, basically whenever this method returns something else than before then the observe method will be called and the code inside of that observer will be executed so inside of that block we have our it and that is basically just the list of shopping items with, uh, which this function returns so inside of that block we can simply call adapter dot items is equal to it which is the list of our shopping DAO and after that we have to call adapter dot 
notify data set changed and that's fine. So that will basically always update our recycler view and if we move an item from our database it will automatically change our recycler view items and also if we add an, an item. After that we want to set an on click listener to our floating action button. Set on click listener and inside of that we create an on add dialog listener um, not a listener sorry add an add shopping item dialog which takes our context and our interface at dialog listener right so we write object colon add dialog listener and inside of that we can press control and i and implement our on add button clicked method so that method will be called when we click on the add button in our dialog and as you can see here we we can operate with our created item in our shopping activity so here we want to call view model dot absurd and pass in the item so we just want to insert the item into our database and don't forget to call dot show after that now to make our app work we have to make two little adjustments so first of all we have to go in our build.gradle file and increase the minimum SDK version to 16 because the Codian framework needs that minimum version so we press on sync now and the second thing we need to do is we have to go in our add shopping item dialog and there I forgot to set content to call set content view so we don't have any layout there that would crash so we call set content view with r.layout dot dialog add shopping item right and now we can try to run our app all right it starts and it compiles that's good so we try to add an item here click on the floating action button and enter bananas six and click on add and there it is and we can try to modify the amount that works we can delete it and let's see if it is really saved into our database so let's add it again bananas add and we're going to close the app here and reopen it and it's still there so that's everything we need to do to make our app work but if we go on our shopping activity as I said in the last tutorial it is a very bad practice to instantiate your objects in the activity because that will make the objects dependent on that activity which is why we want to implement dependency injection with Codian in the next tutorial that won't change anything at the functionality of our app but is a, it is a very good practice and it will keep your code very clear and make your projects also testable very well so that's it for this tutorial i hope you like it and if so please leave a comment below and give it a like to show your support and also if there's anything i can do to improve then please tell me that that would really help me thank you and see you in the next time bye bye